Imagine yourself in a world where every question hides a mystery that only you can unravel. In this world, riddles reign supreme, challenging the mind, spurring creativity, and igniting the spark of critical thinking. It's a world where the answers are not always as they seem, and the obvious may be the most misleading. Today, we embark on a journey into this world, a journey of mind-bending riddles, designed to test your wits, tickle your intellect, and stretch your imagination. Are you ready to test your wit and wisdom? Prepare yourself for the first riddle. Here comes the first riddle, a classic one that many of you might know. Ready to have your brain tickled? Picture this, there are three feline predators, each hungrily eyeing their prey. The prey in question, three unsuspecting rats. The cats pounce, and in the span of three minutes, each cat has devoured a rat. Now let's kick this up a notch. Imagine, if you will, a hundred of these cats, each with a rat of their own. The question for you is this, how long will it take for a hundred cats to eat a hundred rats? Take a moment, let the gears turn. You have 10 seconds to come up with an answer. Time's up. So what did you come up with? Here's the twist. It's not about the quantity, but the ratio. The answer is three minutes. Each cat takes three minutes to eat a rat. So whether it's three cats or a hundred, they would still finish in the same amount of time, assuming each cat has its own rat to eat. Have you guessed it? The answer is three minutes. One cat can eat one rat in three minutes, so 100 cats can eat 100 rats in the same time. Did you get the first one right? No worries if you didn't, here's your second chance. Ready to dive into the world of riddles yet again? Let's get your brain gears grinding. This time, we're taking a trip around the block with a little twist. Picture this, a man decides to take a stroll around the neighborhood. He makes three left turns and when he reaches home, he finds two masked men waiting for him. Now, who could they possibly be? Take a moment. Let your mind wander around the block too. Count to 10 and try to solve this riddle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you manage to crack it? Or are you still wandering around the block with our mysterious man? Perhaps you're imagining a thrilling crime scene with masked villains. But hold on to your hats because the answer might just throw you a curveball. Stumped? The answer is the catcher and umpire in a baseball game. Yes, you heard it right. The man was not just any man, but a baseball player. His journey around the block was actually him running the bases on a baseball field. And the masked men, they're part of the game too. The catcher and the umpire, both integral parts of a baseball match, are often seen wearing masks for protection. So there you have it. A simple stroll around the neighborhood turned into a thrilling baseball match. That's the beauty of riddles. They take you on a journey you never expected. So, was your guess a home run or were you left on base? Don't worry, there's always the next inning. Stay tuned for more riddles to keep your mind sharp and your imagination running. Moving on to the third riddle. Ready to give it a shot? Let's dive into a conundrum that's sure to get your cogs spinning. This one is a bit tricky, but don't let that discourage you. After all, what's a riddle without a little challenge? So. Here it is. What is a speaking entity without a mouth or ears? Take a moment to mull it over. Remember, the answer could be simpler than you think. Give it your best shot, all right? Let's do a quick countdown, shall we? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Have you figured it out? Or are you still scratching your head in confusion? No worries, let's unravel this mystery together. So what speaks but has no mouth and hears but has no ears? It's something you might hear in a canyon or maybe after a loud shout. Did you get it? The answer is an echo. An echo is a reflection of sound that arrives at the listener sometime after the direct sound. It doesn't have a physical form, let alone a mouth or ears, yet we hear it speak in a way, repeating the sounds it catches. Quite the brain teaser, wasn't it? But don't worry if you didn't get it right. The joy is in the journey, not just the destination. And remember, every riddle solved is a lesson learned. So how did you fare? Did your answer echo ours? Brace yourself for the fourth riddle. Can you crack this one? Here's a riddle that may require a bit more thought. It's a peculiar situation. Let's see if you can unravel it. Ready? Here goes. There's a man who made and sold something very unique. The product he sold was not used by the buyer. Even more intriguing, the one who did use it had absolutely no idea about it. So what was this mysterious product? What could the man possibly be crafting and selling that the buyer doesn't use and the user doesn't know? Take a moment, ponder upon it. What could it possibly be? A product that's purchased but not for self-use? 
and the actual user is oblivious of its existence? Quite a perplexing situation, isn't it? All right, I'll give you 10 seconds to mull over it and come up with your answer. Remember, the key is to think outside the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Time's up. Now let's reveal the answer. The man in question, the one who crafted and sold this mysterious product, is a coffin maker. Yes, you heard it right, a coffin. The buyer, usually a relative or friend of the deceased, never uses it. And the one who does, well, they're not exactly in a position to know about it. So, were you able to crack this riddle, or did it leave you scratching your head? Either way, remember, it's all about the fun of unraveling the mystery. The answer is a coffin. Riddles like these are designed to test your lateral thinking skills challenging you to look beyond the obvious and delve deeper into the problem. And with that, we've reached the end of our riddle session. How did you fare? Did you solve all the riddles or were you left scratching your head? These puzzles are meant to stretch your mind and sharpen your problem-solving abilities. So whether you ace them all or stumbled a bit, remember that the real reward is in the journey, not the destination. We hope you enjoyed this mental workout. Don't forget to drop your results in the comments below. We'd love to see how you did. Keep practicing those critical thinking skills and remember, the world is full of riddles waiting to be solved. We'll see you in the next video.